hello YouTube this video is on um, how to make a water simulation in blender 2.49 all right now I'm doing it okay so just delete the object go into top mode 7 press add mesh uh, cube um, and then um, then press Z wireframe mode, just go to this type of angle, just go to any angle, it doesn't really matter. Then go into um, edit mode, no, wait, go into uh, one of these, yep, it is object, click object, then click this button, which is physics and, the physics and button, then click fluid, domain. Now I'll make it a domain. If you want to put the resolution up, click here, this makes it, makes like the bake, or it'll be longer to do the bake if this goes up. Uh, if you want to know what a bake is, it's basically like, like basically like animating out the physics simulation. Anyway, now uh, press space, add mesh, uh, just UV sphere. That's good enough. S, do S, and then 0 0.2. Actually, wait, uh, 0. Point, uh, yeah, make it a bit bigger than that actually, and then press one, G it up on the Z axis up to about the top. That'll be good, and now from here we click fluid, uh, fluid. This is just a simple one, by the way. Then fluid, fluid. And then we click, yeah. Then we go back to the domain, and we bake it like this. And yeah, then basically you bake the frames at, at the top of the screen, like up here. It shows how much has been baked. And yeah, basically all this is gonna do is just drop down and like hit the floor in it. Uh yeah, it's pretty much. So just drops down, hits the floor, and that's pretty much it. It's not really that amazing. If you want to do and like also you can't see it and stuff where it hits, which is a bit annoying. And like sometimes it goes a bit weird, like all really pixelated and stuff. There is a way of like making it less pixelated and stuff like that, but yeah. Um, uh, I can show you how to change the texture of the water as well. Uh, that's about enough because pretty much nothing's really happening. Press Escape if you don't want to finish the bake, and then press Alt A to watch the animation. Wait, press Z, Alt A to watch the animation. And yeah, it's pretty bad actually if you ask me. But anyway, uh, delete the original uh, UV sphere, um, add modifier to it. Click down here, click add modifier, then add a subsurf to it. Uh, put levels up to about two. Uh, set it smooth. Cheap by put it back to one again, maybe. Yeah, one and set it smooth, that's good enough. You can apply it if you want, you have to apply it. Uh, and then go into, um, well, actually, the better your computer, the better the better you can, the better the subsurf. Then anyway, I go into shading, uh, add new, and just make it like a really nice blue colour and yeah that will be pretty much it that's pretty much the end of the video well I'll just quickly show you how to make the world look cool this is what I normally do I normally have it black and then a different shade of black uh, wait a different shade of wait, this one on, uh, different shade of black and then click wait blend and then blend uh, wait I'd forget the paper, just make it a different shade of black, like a, like a little bit less, so you can actually see a difference. Wait, um, there, that's that you can see a little bit of a difference now. And then basically now, and now we go into stars, and then now in the sky, you can see stars. So when we go into camera view, zero, we can see that. Oh, yeah, also press Shift F from here, zoom in, click, wait. I mean that way, that way. Click and yeah, Alt A. Oh dear, that's not good. Shift F. There now, Alt A. Yeah. So then, hey, okay, from there, when you like angled it right, go into F10, press F10, or click here, then go end frame at. Um, when does it end? Okay, so it ends at 141, so end at, well, my one ends at 141, so click the end frame here, and then go make it AV codec to make it a film, 
and there we go we're down control f12 and you will render it might take some time but yeah try 12 and yeah anyway that's the end of my video tutorial there we go subscribe for more bits we dominate youtube